Why hello there. This is me with me 700 coming in with a collection update and a quick about me. I haven't really done one of those in a long time looking at my channel so I figured it was time to do one. I don't really make videos all that much because they're very time consuming and I'm lazy and all that fun stuff. So I've been collecting since 2011 um, which I can't believe that's what nine years ago now? I can't do math. What year is it? Eight years ago coming up on nine. So that's kind of crazy. I feel like I just started collecting that long ago. But at the same time, I also feel like I've been collecting forever. Yeah, so I've been collecting since 2011. I'm 23. So I started collecting back in high school when I thought that Pokemon was a cool thing to be a scene girl with. Uh, it was kind of like a joke to collect it almost. I wouldn't call it a joke, but it wasn't serious. And then, you know, I grew up, I wasn't the scene girl anymore, but I still kept collecting Pokemon because I'm a huge fucking dork. Yeah, so my biggest things about my collection, I only collect um, from fourth gen down. I'm not into the new stuff. I also don't play any of the games. I don't do any of the cards. I know some of my old videos on this channel, I was collecting cards, but I just found that to be kind of too much of a lottery for me. After a certain point, I was spending all these buddies on packs and I was not getting a return out of the investment I was spending on the cards, which I'm all about the investment aspect of collecting, um, which I think is kind of funny, but my biggest asset I own is probably all of my Pokemon. Yeah, so my favorite things to collect are right here, any weird promo food items or promo items. Um, I'll do a close up momentarily, so this is all my food collection, and polka dolls which are the Pokemon Center release plush that are super sought after, super rare. I got a decent collection. I have spent way too much money on these stupid things, but they're worth it. And they're also an investment value on these. Do not go down. So I say it's worth every penny. Um, and then my biggest, uh, most expensive thing I own is obviously Pika Bug. If you've seen on my other channel, I own one of 10 Nintendo promo cars, Pika 7. Um, I've spent, shit, I've, I'm at like 10 grand with the car and cost now. So it's been expensive, but it's been worth it trying to preserve that piece of Pokemon history. So it's so worth it every dime and I love taking it to conventions and showing it off. So I will eventually do an update on that here soon. I just haven't done a whole lot with it because again, it is very expensive to work on and I'm broke right now. This brings me to my next topic about more about what I do. Um, I do have a mass media communications degree, but unfortunately I'm disabled right now as a long stupid story, so I can't work. I've had six foot surgeries and I still need two more, so there's no point in getting a job when no one's gonna hire you because you need to leave for two surgeries. So. so in the meantime I do resell. I go to Goodwill and collect stuff um, to resell on eBay random items and stuff, so that's kind of how I make my money. Um, and then again, I was doing conventions with Peekabug to raise money for getting the car all restored and whatnot. That doesn't make a whole lot, honestly, but every little bit helps. Restoring cars is extremely, extremely expensive for, you know, paint and repairs. Luckily, mechanically, there really wasn't a whole lot wrong with it. I will go into that again. Um, actually, I think I go into that in my last video that I did of it, so I haven't watched it in a while. I think that's everything about me so far. It's relevant to my collection, I guess. So let's check out the collection, shall we? The lighting in here is horrendous and my room is also a mess, so excuse that. So here's a quick overview of everything. My awesome curtain thing, which doesn't do a whole good job blocking out light here. And some of my flats, that board's a mess. So now we'll zoom in. So I've actually recently sold out all of my non polka doll plush. This is what I've kept. If you've looked at old videos or old Instagram photos, I did have a lot more than this. But raising money for Pika Bug, I have sold off a lot of my stuff. So, but we'll start with the top here. Um, this was a sign I had from Fairfax Con I did with Pika Bug. My Pokemon Center New York items. This is the grand opening bag. The regular shopping bag, I have several of these in different sizes. The other side has Pikachu on it. 
and then a logo t-shirt. It's my favorite Art Deco logo. I love it. If you haven't already seen, I do have a website that I built from scratch. PokemonCenterNewYork.com has a full history on the now defunct store. Also with different products they made and fun facts. It was a awesome store in New York City that did not live very long, so go check it out if you haven't seen it. Panning back down, my Natsu and Zatu collection. They do not have a whole lot of merch, and I've pretty much collected almost everything that they have up until this point. I did have a prototype TFG figure that I did recently sell. Um, I didn't really want to sell it, because they're super, super rare, but I needed the money. I paid 40 bucks for it years ago, and I sold it for 200 which is pretty awesome, so... <sighs> Kids figures, customs, charms, Zukon, polka dolls, custom DX polka doll, um, and the recent Japanese Fit Plush, which they just released those on the American website this week, I think. And panning down to the pride and joy of my collection, my promo food item collection here. <clears throat> this is my, I think one of my more recent additions is this variety Costco bo box. Um, chocolate chip, blueberry, and then the regular cinnamon toast ones. I didn't even know they made this. I just saw someone post it for sale, and I'm like, that's kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and scoop that up. Moving here, the original mac and cheese boxes. I do have pretty much all of them, except Polyworld. Pikachu's on the lower shelf, and then the Diamond and Pearl release, which not as big as a fan of that one. <laughs> Um, and then the popsicle wrapper. I do need the box still. I would kill to have the box. Um, vitamins, Burger King cups. I got two Pikachu ones right here. Um, and then the Togepi one up there. One of my Wonder Ball display boxes. I do have multiples of these. Also one of my favorite things in my collection because I'm a Wonder Ball freak. I've done several videos on the history of Wonder Balls before. This is a Canadian re Canadian release Cadbury Caramilk Bar. Apparently they did like 25 different Pokemon. And they're going to be impossible to find. So there's Pikachu for now. And I touched it now. And there we go. Okay. And then the Heinz pasta shapes. I didn't even know Heinz made pasta. Um, there's a rubber band on it because it's just so old. The glue started taking off the wrapper. Oh lord, why is it stuck? Oh, that's, that's good. All right. There are a, I think there's a Charizard release as well as a um, Venusaur release of this as well, and a Lugia. I missed a Lugia on eBay not too long ago and I was pretty bummed. I don't know why that's rusting like that. All right, moving on. And that's, yeah, we'll deal with that later. All right, down here, bigger stuff. So the classic Kellogg cereal, these are pretty common. They're usually, there's usually always one on eBay. And for those wondering, most of this stuff's empty. There's very few things that are full, um, which I'll point out. Um, like, none of those mac and cheese boxes have anything. Obviously, the pot, the pasta's full, but it's a can, and the chocolate bar's in there. Everything else is pretty much empty. Um, the Pop-Tart boxes, Wild Cherry, Pokeberry, I think those are all the flavors. I'm not really sure can't remember exactly. There's the Pikachu mac and cheese box, one of the Welch's grape jelly jars. There's a ton of those. I just do not have any interest in owning those for space reasons. Pokemon roll-ups from Betty Crocker. Um, the chocolate chip waffles. I am missing the blueberry box. Pretty much looks identical, but it says blueberry. And then my absolute favorite piece in the entire collection is my Wonder Ball drop box display. It is so colorful and beautiful. And, oh my gosh, it's from back in 2001 these came out. I do own two boxes. One does have the Wonder Ball still in there. Let me not destroy everything here. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I would love to fill up this one day, but that's probably not going to happen. So, yep. Alright, and then these I just kind of threw here temporarily. These are the Burger King crowns. Um, from their promo. Super cool. Again, I love promo stuff. And then this is a popsicle window cling that storefront, whoop, there those go, storefront owners use to advertise the Pokemon popsicles. Um, 89 cent. 
I don't know where you can get popsicles for 89 cent nowadays. All right, pan it over. This is just a junk shelf. And then there's an article I have open to the Pokemon Center New York from a web, for my lighting design magazine. Very cool. Again, my website does have this article on there if you're interested in reading it. So, super cool. All right, moving up. My Mini Lugia collection centerpiece being the Tomy Giant. I do have a review of this rare, rare plush on my channel. He's not in the best condition and he's missing Pikachu on his back, but still amazing piece. And I paid nothing for it for what it's either worth around two to three thousand dollars. And I didn't pay anything near that, so. Um, some other cool pieces. I believe this is the DX Tomy figure. He's like vinyl. Super cool. Also very hard to find. Um, and then the soap. I didn't know this was a thing, but I saw it on eBay one day. Yeah, they're like bath bubbles. Super awesome piece. I love it. They just don't make anything like that anymore. So, definitely a golden piece of my collection. Then we have a squishy guy. This stupid... This was from the HeartGold SoulSilver release figure. Boring. This matches my, uh... I can't remember the name of the release of this of this promo, but that's the coin purse. This is a McDonald's figure. Nothing else really exciting besides those few pieces. Panning down here, my Pikachu collection. Most of this stuff was kind of like accidental. <laughs> I had no intention of collecting Pikachu, but it just kind of happened. Um, cool toothbrush. I would really like to have the toothpaste that matches it, but yeah. Some charms, the polka doll charm, Pokemon collectors, charms, the pap tags. Yeah, nothing super exciting in here, all very common stuff. Pan and down, more figures and plushies, well, figure, and my Pika Bug plush, which was given away when Pika Bugs were on promo. I actually got that at Goodwill years ago, so it was a sign. Ah, Alright, moving back up. Ugh. There is my um, award bandana featuring Zatu. I love that artwork. I paid a lot of money for that. I think I paid five hundred for it. Very rare. It was given away as a um, as a prize in a trading card game back in like two thousand two or one long time ago. So I need to get a new frame for it. That one was kind of temporary. <sighs> All right, polka dolls. What people love. I've had a lot more than this before. I have sold off a lot of rare ones, um, like Houndor and Skeptile. I had the whole Hoenn trio, but I've recently gotten, I sold off the whole thing, and then I've recently gotten Blaziken and Swampert again, so. Yep. The little Tufty Pichu up there. I paid, how much? I think I paid 300 for her. They're usually worth way more than that, but that one's not in the best condition. My Grail Smoochum, I looked everywhere for that stupid little thing. Paid a lot of money for her. I think I paid 400 for her. Um, Whopper back there, Altaria, Swampert, Oddish Plush Plush, which I recently got again. Um, I had traded it for my Mirage Nat 2 Plush a few years back. Sefeel! I got Sefeel with Smoochum, and again, paid way too much for them. So, I, I, I do want, uh... Houndor again, and Corefish, and Clefairy. Those are my three I'm looking for right now, but they're kind of been putting them on hold just because they're so expensive and all my money's been going towards Peekabug. Then some other ones down there that I have room for up here. I need to fill up that shelf. That's what's left of my figure collection. I used to have a ton more than that, but again, I sold everything off. Uh, Kuda Kuda, Sleepy Pikachu, one of my favorite plushes ever. That's the American release. I would love to have the Japanese release, because he is awesome. My mini Mew collection, fun fact, my username is Mew is Me 700. I intended to, to uh, I intended to collect Mew as my main collection, but then I realized how much stuff Mew has, and kind of gave up on that, so... Um, other random stuff. I use my Tomy Chubby Pikachu here with Peekabug for photo ops. Very beautiful plush, very high quality. Again, I just don't make stuff like this anymore. Warner Brothers Studios store. 
bag. I love the Warner Brothers Studio store. Back in the day, there was one at my local mall. One of the few defunct stores that people kind of forgot about. But yeah, closed back in 2001. Um, and then some other random stuff, like the little Rose Art pencil case. Pokemon Center New York cases here. I recently got those. Oh, almost done. And then flats over here. That's my Pokemon Center New York articles from Nintendo Power. Back when it opened and back before it opened. My old license plate, Pokemon Love, I recently don't have that anymore. Um, and then some other random stuff. Burger King fry bag. Nothing super exciting there. Pokemon Center New York pin. Um, an article from, or not an article, movie ad. A lot of just weird stuff. Again, I like vintage, old American release promo stuff. Ugh, excuse me. Can't get it back all in the frame here. I got too much stuff on the floor. But there you go. There is everything. All right, guys. So that's that's my collection. I also have Peekabug, which y'all have seen, and the Pokemon Center New York clock, which is in the living room. If you want to see it, I have another video on it. Don't really feel like walking over there right now. But I'm gonna try to be active on YouTube some more. Again, it's just, it's really time consuming to make videos, so. But yeah, follow me on Instagram, at me with me 700 Subscribe to my channel if you want to. Not a whole lot of action going on here. Um, check out my website, um, pokemonlove.weebly.com. A close up of my collection. Also probably needs to be updated if I've been spl slacking on that. And again, my Pokemon Center New York website. Really appreciate it if you check that out. Share it with your friends. Not a lot of people know about that amazing defunct store. And it had Pokemon animatronics and really cool stuff. And it's really sad that it's gone now. But yeah. So, see you next time, guys. Bye.